Yo, what's up? We are now at Soko K Fudu Set, my regular starting point. And today I want to do 1000 kilometer challenge with my Model 3 performance. And the reason for it is because, you know, lately we've been doing a 1000 kilometer challenge in Norway. The Norway route, because of COVID, we shouldn't travel uh, to Sweden where my ideal uh, route is. And uh, I want to know, is this one, is this route slower or faster than the regular one? Uh, so that's, why, that's what we are doing now. So let me show you, uh, I will explain more inside the car. So it's kind of cold outside. It's a bit misty, or foggy, yeah. And we will start exactly at 10. So right now it is 9.53. And we are charging to 98% now. Well, actually, we can see here, according to, uh, according to um, uh, scan my Tesla, we have 98.0 right, right there. So it should be 99 by the time we start. It doesn't matter too much, but um, you see, the plan is to drive. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, well, actually, I can do this one, and I can do this, and I can do this roughly. So the plan is to do the Norway route. We drive here. And then back again and then we drive over on this side all the way to Langang and back again and then we head north and then we do the rest here so you usually i take the sweden route here and then there's lots of 110 zone here with almost no traffic this place is almost deserted and then we have a slow stretch here through gothenburg the lowest speed limit is um, 60 kilometers per hour and there's lots of 60 and 70 here and then when you come here to Weidebach, you can unleash the power and drive, right, it's 120 zone, all the way here, I think. But it means that from here to here and back again, you have over uh, almost 200 kilometer of 120 zone, which doesn't exist in Norway. But people in, but in the, the advantage with Norway is that we have way more fast chargers, so we can time the charging stops to be perfect. So some people claim that the Norway route is faster and then some people claim that the Norway route is slower. So that's what you're going to find out. Yeah, today. <laughs> so now let's wait. 98% now. All right, all right. Oh, it's now slowing down. So we will leave exactly at 10. And I will also re re reset this trip. I can just do it now. Reset 1000 kilometer trip. Yeah, and then we wait. We have been driving for one hour now. We just passed. Well, we just... We did the turnaround point, and at the turnaround point, the trip meter says 117 kilometers. So I think this one overreports distance a little bit, maybe by one, one, two percent or something. I have to do the math later, but uh, I think you know, in a 1,000 kilometer challenge, it doesn't matter too much anyway. So I think we will just do the regular countdown to 1,000. Consumption is 216. We are obviously not cruising at 110. Uh, it's only for the shot that I dialed down the speed to 110. So you see here that the average speed so far is 114 roughly, including the slow stretch here. So now we go back to Oslo and then we go this loop. So, so far so good. The temperature was 4 degrees when we started. Now it's 11 degrees Celsius. So yeah, let's start hammering it. Increase my speed again. There we go. Nice. We are now at Leertoppen Supercharger. This is a version 3 supercharger, which is the best, the top of the crop. We have water cool cable here, look. <laughs> and we're charging now. I'm gonna show you the speed. This is what you can expect. Oh, it's not 250, because we came here with 16%, but we're getting 220, which is still very good. Yeah, that is still very good. So right now you see here that if you look at the stats here, um, the battery is at 35 degrees. That's the problem. It needs to be warmer to receive 250 kilowatt. But this is the fastest we can get around here anyway. Getting over 200 kilowatt now is still 
really good. So the next stop will be, let me show you now. Uh, if we will go to Ringdalskogen, but first we have to go to the end point. So I guess we can just mark it on the map. It's right here. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, whatever. We can just here roughly. No, wait, is it before? You can just navigate, let's say here. Yeah. All right. Good. So the plan is that I have to charge to exactly 50, well, 52%, let's say 55%. And then we head out again. Uh, we are on the move again. That was a really short stop, which we went from 16% uh, to 62% um, in, I don't know, I have to check again. I can check about the root planner. Uh, the root planner logs everything. That was fast. So uh, now the plan, well actually I haven't decided what to do, but uh, you see there's a little bit of traffic here that you might not find in the, in the Sweden route. Um, well, okay, okay. We are now at Shell Grellon. I love this place. Let me show you why. We have, oh, is this the one guy who gave me a thumbs up? Maybe a follower. We have lots of Grillon Duck fast chargers here and it's right by the highway. And you never have to check if they are available. See the plenty. Each of these stalls have, I mean, each of these stations have two stalls. So we actually have 10 of these. Superb, right by the highway. So no overhead. So let me show you. Now we are getting well, I don't even have to look on the screen. You can usually look on the screen here also for the speed. Can you see it? 140 kilowatt. Oh, see the station is outputting 142 kilowatt like a boss. But if you look here, yeah, we're getting 142 kilowatt. <laughs> but I will have to show you scan my Tesla. Scan my Tesla now reports that we are receiving 141. We are not using the heater stators after burners this is very nice indeed so now i calculated that a, a better root plan I mean, according to a better root planner i need to spend 36 percent of energy to get or the battery to get there and that means if i charge to 45 percent then we should be safe and then we can go there because i want to measure yeah i, I can explain later once we get there why we are going to ionity but now we just have to charge here and enjoy it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, look, this is pretty crazy. This is about the root planner. It logs all my sessions, the driving sessions and the charging session. And the V3 supercharger session we had was only 40 minutes long. Shit, we have to leave. We're going to leave at 45%. We have been here 10 minutes and we're good to go. This charging station is delivering power like a boss. now getting close to Klöfta and uh, we have passed the slowest stretch now which is near Oslo and uh, what is the time now five I mean, 15 20 yeah so we've been on the road for almost five and a half hours so you see here this leg 201 only consumption that's pretty good and then we have driven 500 uh, something so far so the next stop will be Ionity and the car estimate is 9%, so 11 degrees outside, just to give you guys some uh, status reports. Not much to see here. So, whoa, that guy is Chanel. That's a Volvo. Oof. He's probably going somewhere important. <laughs> we are now at Ayunti Dal. And uh, the reason why we are here is because um, I want to measure the error in distance on MC Hammer. 
I mean, I measured it before, and I know it should be, you know, it should be over reporting distance. But uh, what we're going to do now is to charge here, and then drive to the north, uh, to Brumendal, and then back again, because we know that distance is supposed to be 168 kilometers. But this is very nice. So um, lots of chargers available. And I guess we can see it here, or we can see it inside the car, whatever works best. Oh, look, oh, <laughs> look at that, we're getting 500 amps, 185 kilo. I, I don't have time to stay here too much. I have to clean the windscreen, I have to uh, grab some food at Soko K. Just showing you here the setup. I want to see, okay, okay, the afterburners are not running. Yeah, it's not needed. The, the battery temperature is at 37.8, just like my body temperature. So far so good, yes. Oh shit, I have to hurry, I have to hurry. This is going to be super fast. We are on the run again. So I don't remember how many, uh, how many charging stops did we have so far? This is, okay, that was the third charging stop, yeah. So um, if you look here, start so far, we have hit the six hour mark and we have done almost 600 kilometers according to the trip, but we have 52%, very important, we have 52%. So uh, we should always measure, well, you guys already see on the screen, I always measure every time we arrive. So nice weather over here. Yeah, at the Mjösen, Mjösen is very calm today. Look at that. Mjösen, 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 Mjösen. So um, let's go for it. And by the way, for you guys who don't know, this stretch here, oh, it has a mix of 100 and 110 zone. So, in Sweden, we have mostly 110 so, but here it's a slight disadvantage, but I guess we have an advantage with the charging uh, stops at least. now getting close to Nebenes and uh, the problem right now is that um, the car suddenly consumes slightly more than usual. See we are hovering on 230 now so it's too risky to try to reach Dahl. We will reach Nebenes with 4% so that's going to be the plan. Go for Nebenes and then just charge there and I might just charge on, uh, on supercharger for the rest of the challenge now. We have done over 700 kilometers and driven over seven hours. We are now at Supercharger Nebenes and man, we came here with 3.5%. <sighs> I think that was the follower. Yeah, it's the guy, it's, people recognize me here. It's almost impossible to, to not be recognized here. But we are here charging now, Supercharger. We're not sharing anyone, but this one is advertised to be 150 kilowatt, but I've seen it before that for some reason you don't get you don't get 150 kilowatt here you see the highest speed is only 126 so when you have tasted the when you taste the 200 or 180 kilowatt then 126 seems a bit slow <sighs> what can we do okay you know what i'm going to do i will do one more loop so we end up in at uh, at uh, ionity and then we do we do the last, I want to do the last charging session at Ionity. Uh, but um, anyway, you see here, um, we travel 162, this one claims 162, but um, according to Google, it was 160. So this car over reports by 1%. So it means that the correct distance, according to trip here, we have to count to, you know, <laughs> 1,010 kilometer, but yeah, it's close enough anyway, okay, whatever. All right, now we just camp here a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna leave now. We, came, we started charging at 1710, so we charged for 20 minutes. 20 minutes feels like forever if you used to 150 to 200 kilowatts. Well, okay, 55% should be enough, so now we leave.
we are back at Ionity now. Yes, this is the second time I charge here. But um, we are charging and you know, you might be wondering, but is it relevant to charge here? Because most drivers, most tester drivers, they don't want to charge at Ionity. Well, I consider that because I actually wanted to try to use supercharger, but uh, the thing is that the de development of super... Oh, look at that! Oh, we're not getting 500 amp this time. Oh, I think it's because the battery is not hot enough to take it. Wait, I, sh I should fire up the heater. See, it's getting 470 amp from the charger, so I should fire up the heater. Because I didn't want to run the heater because it would suck some power for charging. So, all right, it was what I was going to... So now the heater should suck the extra power so that it... Ah... Uh, Okay, not optimal, but still very good. No, but you see, the reason why I charge at Ionity is because the development of Tesla Supercharger is so fast that by the time you guys watch this video, maybe in 2021, some people, Tesla might have even more Supercharger version 3 out there. So that's why, wow, I have to say MC Hammer looks freaking gorgeous from this angle. Look at that. You see the red calipers, you see the, the red tinted windows. Mm -mm -mm. So, as usual, I don't have too much time here. This is the last charging stop. We're gonna charge here and then drive to the north a little bit and then go back to Oslo to Circle K. And that would be 1000 kilometers. So, quick stop, restroom, maybe hot dog. I'm not sure if I have time for it. And then we finish it. All right, we are now on the last run now, final run. So let's just head north first. And it's getting dark already. Wow. You see, time is, it's just, it's just seven. Huh? It's seven and it's already dark. <laughs> okay, but um, we have to go north now to Tongen. That's uh, about 50 kilometers from here. And then we uh, head back to, uh, to the city. So not much to report. It's five degrees Celsius, so it's getting uh, it's getting a bit uh, cold outside. But at least it's Saturday night, so we have almost no traffic here. So I can hammer it. Right, let's do the countdown. 9994, I almost forgot the microphone. 9995. 9996. 9997. 9998. 9999. 1000, we hit 1000 at nine hour and 50 minutes. <laughs> but this is not the true 1000 kilometer. We have to go 1010. Let's go 1010 then. Okay, another countdown. It's going to be 1010. And if you look here, when this one hits 136.4, then we hit 1010. All right. There, in 400 meters. You see, almost there, 130. Okay, okay, let's switch, let's switch to this one. This one will turn 1,010 soon. There, 1,010. 1955, we have proof. See, it took nine hours and 55 minutes. Ho, ho, ho. New record for MC Hammer, nine hours and 55 minutes. All right, let's get over to uh, Circle K. We are back at the starting point and wow. So it was actually nine hours and 55 minutes. So this one did it slightly faster than the Swedish route. I mean, why was it faster? Was it because the roads were better? No, most likely not because we didn't have 120 stone here. But I think it was a combination of uh, uh, good charging sessions and the fact that the Norwegian road are very similar. So, you know, based on this, I can say that 
the 1000 km challenge we do in Norway is the same as the Sweden one, more or less the same. It, in Sweden, Sweden route might be five minutes faster, but it means that from now on I can do the test here as long as COVID is still active. But in the, in the future, I will still want to go back to Sweden because it's still nicer there. You know, the meatballs or the, the, the hot dogs in Sweden is nicer. So, uh, but for now we can still rely on the Norway route and all the tests I've done with the, with the other cars in Norway are valid in, in my head, you know. And just, just to keep you guys reminded that the reason why I made this challenge is to simulate a typical driving through many places in Europe where you can cruise around 120, 130 kilometers per hour and to see how long does it take because you guys have seen now in other trips I do for example to to the Arctic Circle that road is way worse and we drive slower and it's a different scenario but this one is more like it's more relevant for the rest of Europe so very impressive of MC Hammer MC Hammer always delivers freaking annoying people huh what's wrong with people fossils but so uh, yeah and in the future when we have this version 3 supercharger then this run might be about 5-10 minutes faster than today. So I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.